Hi Paul, would you mind uh, introducing yourself for our audience? Uh, sure, uh, my name is Paul Sweeting and uh, I run a small consulting company in Washington DC called Concurrent Media Strategies. Uh, I was a longtime journalist in the entertainment industry. I worked for Variety and uh, video business and other re business properties. And, uh, before that, I worked for Billboard and many others. What was it that actually inspired you to go into a consulting firm and get involved with the new technologies that are at hand? Well, um, a lot of my coverage when I was a journalist you know, concerned the impact of new technology, particularly digital platforms, on the media companies, on content creators. Um, so I, I had, you know, developed both an interest and, and some expertise in that area. So when I decided to go out on my own, it just made sense to, to sort of focus on, on uh, what I was most engaged in. Sure. What's happening in the entertainment app world? And what's, the be what's, what's an easy way for a person to understand what's going on? <laughs> well, if it were easy, we wouldn't have to do this conference. Um, but, <laughs> um, there, you know, the, the app phenomenon is happening on a lot of different levels. And um, for the entertainment companies, there are sort of um, two layers, I think, um, that are important. One is the use of, an, of a self-contained, downloadable app itself as a means of distributing premium content. Um, uh, you know, on Facebook right now, it's possible to rent um, some, at least some movies from Warner Brothers, for instance. Um, Universal has already, um, has also experimented with that. Sony has begun to experiment with it, in which you actually download the movie a as an app, um, and they're essentially leveraging the, the Facebook platform as, as a way of, of distributing premium content, and this, of course, is paid for. So, um, and then you have things like Netflix or HBO Go, which are, apps that appear on lots of different devices um, that um, can be used as a, as a portal for distributing uh, premium content through. So there's this sort of distribution aspect of apps. Um, they're sort of coming into their own alongside DVDs, um, uh, pay-per-view on cable, uh, as just another way of packaging premium content. Um, that is downloadable. Mm -hmm. um, the other uh, piece of it is um, apps that are in some way associated with um, premium content. Um, for instance, in the television industry right now, you have a lot of uh, experimentation going on um, with companion apps, apps that run on your iPad or on your, on your smartphone um, that are in some way associated with the content that, that's on the linear television platform. And increasingly, um, the, the app is, is actually synced with, with the, um, the linear program by means of a, an audio watermark that's embedded in the, well, there are a couple of different ways to do it, but that's the primary way that people are doing it currently. And essentially, the, the app um, listens for that signal and then it knows what's on the screen and it can then serve content to you on that second screen. Um, that is related to um, the content uh, that, 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 that you're watching on, on television. And um, that opens up you know, uh, a host of new opportunities uh, for um, TV networks and for the TV service providers um, as essentially another pipeline to the consumer um, that builds on what you're already serving. To them.